Hello everybody and welcome back to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Avi and today I will be playing a, a certain real kind detective boy. And today I am joined by the wonderful... Uh, thank you. I am Oatmeal. Uh, and today I am playing uh, uh, the professor, a uh, real kind alien. something something real kind fps joke yeah uh -huh. <laughs> um what? so uh i mean the professor is probably wandering around toon kind as oh no god wandering around uh toontown uh as is his want uh because he does that a lot <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that certainly seems uh, par for the course. Um, and, uh, Professor, as you're coming up uh, to turn a corner, would you mind rolling me a very quick uh, dex save? And I'm also going to do one myself. <laughs> Absolutely, dex. What is my... Okay. Okay, I got a 15. I am going to... Where are your stats, buddy? He got a 14. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Um. Uh, give me a sec to figure out how to describe this. Um, yeah. So you're, you're uh, walking up, about, re about ready to turn a corner, and... All of a sudden, you um, you hear uh, distant footsteps from the other s from around the corner, um, hurrying um, hurrying down, and just as the um, just as uh, whoever is coming around uh, turns the corner, so do you, and mm -hmm. there is this brief moment where it's like, oh well. Are you two gonna bump into each other? Uh, you both manage to sidestep uh, each other, avoiding, like, actually making contact. Uh-huh. But this young man that, uh, that you have come face-to-face -face with, uh, stumbles a bit, and, uh, he had been holding a folder full of paper and uh -huh. different notes, uh, all of that slips out of his grip, and everything is now scattered across, essentially, the sidewalk. Oh, yikes. Uh, and he, uh, and you just hear his voice go, oh, I'm so terribly sorry. I didn't no, see no. you there. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I heard you. I should have slowed down and, here, let me pick you, let me help you pick those up. Uh, uh and he will do that. And the both of you uh, start gathering these um, these uh, these papers and notes. Um, professor, would you uh, mind rolling me uh, either perception or I guess inve investigation because it's like directly in front of you. You are. Yeah. are I will take these. that <laughs> investigation. Ooh. All right, twenty one. Ooh. Yeah. Um, there we go. All right. Um, okay. I did not write these beforehand, and I probably should have, so please bear with me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, so you managed to pick up quite a bit, uh, not just with your hands, but also just by looking these over, because you are grabbing them. Um... He's also a speed reader. <laughs> He's also a speed reader. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you manage to pick up uh, several things. Uh, most of this, uh, most of the papers that um, have fallen out of this young man's grasp um, uh, are, I guess you could say photocopies. Ah. Um uh, most of them are detailing uh, different uh, crimes or reported mm. crimes, specifically confessions uh, mm -hmm. 
um, that have uh, happened reportedly within Toontown and its like surrounding border. Uh. Uh-huh. Um. Uh, you see quite a bit of like scattered handwritten notes, both in uh, well, they, I technically count Japanese as a subset mm-hmm. of of common, but both sure. Of, uh, the notes are written in both uh, English and Japanese. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you realize that whoever this young man is seems very interested in in a vigilante who calls uh, calls himself Trickster of the Spirit Rogues. Mm-hmm. Uh, namely, you find uh, a copy of a uh, of a calling card. Uh. Um, that calls out a, a certain Simon Sinclair. Oh. Huh. Um, and that's not the only thing you find. Oh, boy. Uh, there are a few other things unrelated to, uh, to Trickster that you do find. You see uh-huh. a couple of notes, uh, related to a, um to a connection this young man has uh, somewhere in a town called uh, I keep forgetting how to pronounce it please correct me later uh, Villstown oh yeah that's right um, uh, and there are notes on these cases uh, involving something called aberrations and, oh yeah um, he uh and there are notes uh, of like uh, making sure to like whatever uh, a note to self, basically saying that if information is uh, found related to these, to report them to a certain detective Moria. Um, mm. There is, uh, I guess, it's a sticky note. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Um. Handwritten, uh, but it looks like. A name and a contact, but it has been uh, hurriedly scratched out uh, that to the point that you can't really make out uh, who the name or contact information is anymore. But there is a note mm-hmm. to self uh, written on it that says uh, that says something along the lines of "Inform por- Porridge to register Nakai as dangerous and untrustworthy." Oh, oh boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> wow and um and uh that's all I got from the top of my head okay I have to roll uh deception now <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see well he got a 19 <laughs> uh if you want to roll against that you can you don't have to I'm afraid uh, I know to. you have bonkers stats. I'm afraid to. That's the thing. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe see. he'll roll lower than his passive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so the professor sees all of this. And, uh... And uh, is able to process it pretty quickly, but my God, that's a lot. Um, uh, and um, uh, he he sort of stands up with the papers and uh, shuffles them uh, into a neater stack. Um, and uh, there is kind of uh, there is a like small beat uh, where maybe he's looking at them a little bit too long. But um, uh, he uh, he hands he he is smiling and he do, he you know just genially genially uh, ha- hands them to um, uh, to Azumi uh, and says um, uh, this this looks like more more than just a simple uh, school project um, what is this the spirit rose I've 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 heard of them All right. uh uh huh. Give me a sec, because I did forget to add one more thing. Um, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, in relation to the Spirit Rogues, you see that there was a, um, there was another photocopied, uh, 
newspaper, but the mm. date is from a couple years back, sometime mm. in December. And mm -hmm. uh, you realize it's not a newspaper that runs in Einquil, but in Yeddo. Mm -hmm. And the headline is talking about how um, a prime minister had just confessed on yeah. the, the same day he, he had been elected. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. But you also see that uh, the the edges of this paper are wrinkled and creased, and mm. but it looks like somebody has tried to desperately smooth it out. Ah. Huh. Um. And uh, he takes the he takes the papers from you, and uh, and when you ask your question, you ask him if this is a this is about the spirit robes. Uh, he mm -hmm. kind of he kind of gives you a laugh, and he says, "Oh no no no, not a school project. I I happen to be a detective working on the case." Oh oh, I see. Oh, what a um uh, what exactly do you uh intend to do when you find them i mean i uh from what i can tell they they seem to be a respectable group of vigilantes well this is my turn to roll deception here we go <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh boy i'm afraid your modifiers are bonkers <laughs> ah <laughs> 21 oh <laughs> uh, god and he, um, and he kind of, <laughs> again, he gives a laugh, like, oh, uh, like, this is an answer, he's, uh, this is a, uh, reaction he's, um, he's gotten in the past before, and, uh -huh. and he says, um, oh, shoot, what does he say? Uh, he says, well, even with all the, the good they've done, that doesn't change the fact that they are criminals and should be tried in a court of law. <laughs> After all, their uh, their methods are wholly unknown to, well, everybody else who isn't them. And mm. leaving that ability they have on solely on them can lead to rather uh, dangerous situations. He sort of tilts his head a little bit and nods a little like that that last sentiment is something I can agree with. Uh you know, unchecked power, uh you know, that yeah, that that's there's a bit of there's a bit of uh agreement there, but um um he uh he sort of shrugs and says, um, I don't know, they, they, uh, I mean, people, people have, people keep secret identities for, for, uh, for sometimes very, very good reasons. Um, and, uh, they've, what, saved the city, saved the plant, uh, wait, no, that was, wait, hang on. And then he, he, he is, uh, he seems to have, like, uh, like, snagged on a thought, and I have to roll something now, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> because, um, no, oh my god, oh, you no? freaking, ah, uh, I rolled intelligence, um, to see if he could, uh, connect the dots, and he did not. Oh, no! <laughs> he got, he got a, he got an eight. I shake what? this man. Me too! You are oh, so God. close, buddy! <laughs> um, and then he's like, oh, no, the planet, no, that was someone else. Um, uh, but he says, he says, in any case, uh, you know, there might be a very good reason for them not to be, uh, you know, maybe a good reason for them to be anonymous. 
Oh, I see we're in agreement there. Uh, Izumi gives you a look that is... Curious? Uh-huh. Uh, like, you just, like, said something that suddenly caught his interest. Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, he kind of shifts and, like, shuffles a bit so that he's, uh, holding the folder of all that, uh, all that information, mm -hmm. um, under one arm, and, yeah. uh, and he says, Sorry, I don't believe that I've gotten your name. Ah, no, uh, I'm the professor. Uh, and he will extend a hand to shake. Who, who might you be? Um. Okay, this is important. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Is the professor holding out his right hand or his left hand? He is holding out his right hand. Alright, uh, in that case, you see him, uh, switch, uh, the arm that is all, uh, that he has the, the folder tucked under, and he, mm -hmm. uh, shakes his, uh, his right hand with yours, uh, you don't have mm -hmm. to roll insight or anything, this yeah. man is left-handed, uh, ah. Uh. His left um, hand. This left. His blah, 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 blah. His left hand uh -huh. is wearing a glove. Um, so he is shaking with the hand that is not wearing the glove. Correct. Yes. Well, guess what? The professor's going to do his trick. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so let me roll to see if it like registers, and then after that, I have to roll perception. If it does, okay. Where are my things? Notes. Oh, my heart is pounding. <laughs> uh, okay, buddy. Okay, all right. Holy crap. Okay, well, he got a 10, so that, uh, he got a 10, so that passes. So now I have to roll perception. Um, that, that passes the DC of 10. Um, what is my perception? It is here holy crap okay and his perception uh he got he got an eight so he doesn't um god um he uh so basically he's tuned into this sense um but uh he's only able to perceive uh, as much as he would, uh, with an eight, um, like, normally, but with this extra sense, sort of, um, okay. so if, if there's, like, anything super obvious, he could maybe, All right, um, and, like, at very, I will say, at very short, at very, very short range, uh, Hit like the, the the um. You know when you do like dark vision and stuff, you've got a yeah. range of however yeah. very 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 little. All right. Uh, can you remind me really quick what the specifics of this uh sense is? Yeah, it's true sight. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, blah blah blah. Um, let's see. Where is it? See invisible creatures and objects. Uh, automatically detect visual illusions uh, and perceive the original form of a shape changer uh, or creature transformed by magic uh, can see into the ethereal plane within the same range. Uh, and we did establish in the past that uh, this extends to uh, well, I mean, you you heard the one with yeah. uh, Nakabe, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, uh, with an eight... Um, for, uh, for the duration of, uh, I, I assume how long, however long you're shaking Azumi's hand. Um, yeah, like two seconds, probably. You see very, very vague shapes, two of them, mm -hmm. uh, behind Azumi. Mm -hmm. Um, they're kind of indistinct. But, uh, yeah. based on how they are positioned, they do not seem to have noticed you, or at the very least, they have, but they don't really 
care. They seem more interested in facing each other. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, I, uh, I think, let's see. Yeah, I think I need to do like a charisma check or something. Um, okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, he got a 22. So he does not uh, visibly react to this. Um, I forgot my modifier for that was so good. Um... He he does not visibly react to this. He doesn't, like, make eye contact with them. Uh, because, God, that would be awful. Um, and, uh... Uh, it seems as if nothing has happened. Um, but, uh... But, um... Yeah, uh... Did Izumi... He shook his hand. Did Izumi, uh, say? Uh, that's what I was about to say. Uh, uh okay, you, yes. you shook his hand, you introduced yourself, uh, and he yeah. goes, uh, Detective Shiro Izumi, is it just the professor? It is. I see, and what exactly are you a professor of? And he has let go of your hand by now. Yes. Um... Uh, various things. Uh, horology mainly these days. Uh, that's the, um, uh, study of, uh, timekeeping. Oh. I see. So, uh, you are far interested in chronology, then? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I certainly can see the reason why. It is a, uh, unique field of magic. Um. <laughs> certainly. Um, he did say detective. He did say detective. Yeah. Um, yeah, at this point, I think with what's on his mind, um, he, uh, he, uh, jumps right into, um, you said you're a detective. Do you know... Have you heard of somebody named Nakabe Nakai? Uh, he actually blinks and, uh, straightens up like, uh, he absolutely does. In fact, he says, uh, mm -hmm. he says very, very carefully, I do, yes. Is, is he, is he, uh... Wanted anywhere? Because I, I have reason to believe that he should be. Um. Uh, you see him pause, like, uh. He's hesitating. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then he goes on to explain, uh. You have to understand, I am not actually a, uh, a citizen of this country. I don't know who all is and uh. isn't wanted but mm -hmm. I do have reason to believe that Nakabe Nakai is dangerous I should say so you've met him as well I have he hmm He, uh, he accosted, uh, my ward, um, uh, a young child. Uh, I'm going to roll a quick deception. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. That's, that's a modified 20. <laughs> oh, boy. Give me a second, because I'm just... Uh -huh. <laughs> this man and his bullshit stats. Um, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, I will say, um, 
there is a fraction of a moment where like his brows raise and mm-hmm. his expression darkens but it mm-hmm. it's like a split second before he seems to like go back into that attentiveness where he's listening to you yeah and he says is that so well that's even more reason to be careful uh and um Mm -hmm. and uh he he actually goes back to um to his his uh his folder of notes, uh, you see mm-hmm. him, um, flip through it, uh, holds it open with one hand, uh, reach for a pen in his jacket, uh, with the other, uh, and he, uh, writes a quick note, um, and he says, I'll be sure to inform my, uh, acquaintances as well. Yes. Um, yes, you, you should know that, um, he, he is capable of possession, which, which, uh, and, um, that he may, uh, if, if he is, uh, he may, he may be, he is a bounty hunter. He may be, he may be, uh, a danger to, uh, particular, uh, members of the population, especially. I rolled another deception, but this is probably the lowest deception he's gotten that I can Ooh. remember. Oh, a 14. Oh. It's about the best I can ask for. (laughs) (laughs) Um, If you want to contest that with insight, uh, you can. Otherwise, I can just... Uh, uh, what is my insight? Yeah. Er, hmm, 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 hmm. What is my... Uh, hmm. Do I dare? Yes, I do. Pray your hands. <laughs> oh god. I got a freaking six. I'll still Why? Give, I'll still okay. give you something. Cause, uh, okay. Uh, it makes sense that uh, Azumi would slip um, in mm-hmm. this scenario. Um, uh, you mentioned that he is capable of possession and maybe... Mm-hmm. A uh, maybe a threat to a, a specific portion of the population, right? Yep. Um, yep. yep. Oh gosh, uh, he's been keeping this um, this this sort of uh, this sort of aura, this sort of pretense of being uh, patient and polite, and mm-hmm. kind of like there's like a little bit of a charm. To him, yeah. he, uh, not like a like a magic charm, just like char- charisma, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, there is a moment where um, his expression changes, um, mm-hmm. and that and that cover kind of I won't say disappears; it slips. Like you're mm-hmm. looking, like. You're essentially looking at, at the cracks uh, of something, and you can see beneath it for a moment. Um, yeah. And his expression is far more serious than it once was. There is probably something akin to anger. Mm-hmm. Um, his grip on the pen, you notice, is uh, too tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Um, but, uh, this is covered up, uh, in a split yeah. second. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. he goes, that confirms my suspicions. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I'll be very glad if you could let, uh, whoever you know, know. 
Yes, of um, course. And he gives you a he gives you a smile. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> uh, boy. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> he, he. Huh. Is there uh, anything else you needed? Yes, actually, I was wondering if you could answer a few questions. Have you heard about the detective uh, mixed plant? I am willing to lump that uh, detective plant as um, in the same leagues as uh, Nakabed Nakai. Uh, in fact, ah. um, I have reason to believe that they are working in tandem. Really? Oh dear. <laughs> like, he he looks very obviously like surprised and troubled. Like I knew I knew he was I knew he was Oh, despicable, but oh gosh. New low. Um whether or not that is by choice, however, I have not been able to discern for myself. No, I wouldn't be surprised. He seems the... They seem the type. Um. Well, uh... Do you, do you happen to know any, um... Uh, just... What? I know you're not... I know you're not native to this place, but do you... Do you... Who... There are so many children on the street. Who runs this place? Like, really, who's who's in charge? <laughs> Sorry, that's me laughing. Can you say <laughs> that is such an out of nowhere question to him? I think there's like a moment where like he's just like, I was not expecting this, uh -huh. and I honestly don't know how to respond <laughs> uh-huh he's just <laughs> like honestly even even the even the uh even just the vague i i i genuinely don't know what the government structure is like in this place i am very new and i am a little annoyed that i haven't figured it out yet <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> give, me... give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, there's like a beat of a pause. And he's just... I'm not certain... And, like, you can actually hear that genuine, like, uh, <laughs> upturn of, of the, the tonal connotation. Like, he's uh -huh. just like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> hey. hmm. Like, the government, who... <laughs> I... Who's in charge? <laughs> he just looks kind of, like, at a loss. Azumi is just standing here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the genuine concern, and he does, like... He does... Yeah. He does seem, uh... Like, he understands why you're concerned about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, like... He did not expect this, and he's just... Uh-huh. That's in Bolt's gallery. <laughs> um, um, he's just like, well, I can always speak with my connections and see where they take me. That is cause for alarm, yes. Uh, <laughs> he's just, yeah, no kidding. Uh, 
I mean, the, the amount of, the, the amount of, uh, I mean, people living on the streets, people going missing, uh, it's, it seems excessive for, for a place that's otherwise fairly pleasant. What are you going to say, you dumb detective? It's <laughs> 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 just... God. <laughs> the government here in Einkel is bad. He's from Yeddo. He's just yeah. like... Well, I... Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> if... If he seems like he's not going to get, like, much of an answer, um, he's going to change the topic of conversation. Please. Just, like, it's, it's just kind of give up on that thread. <laughs> and, um, um, he has, he, 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 he sort of holds up, like, uh, he, he, like, looks off to the side, and he, he seems to be sort of thinking, and he holds up, like, uh, two fingers, like, I kind of have two questions. Like, the first, um, uh, well, you may not be, again, you may not know everything about this area, but, uh, is necromancy a criminal offense here? Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, For... Abby do not know this. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> um, and he sort of he sort of continues like raising the dead without their consent. Oh, here we go. Here's another uh, deception roll. <laughs> oh my god! That was a twelve. Oh dear. Oh. Oh my gosh. Whoosh! Oh boy. Oh god. Um. Uh, uh, how do I put this into words? Um. Uh, the, the expression on his face becomes strained. Um. And he goes, um, as far as I know, necromancy as a whole is not wholly, uh, against the law here in Toontown at the very least, but, um, I am not quite sure on the matter without, uh, the dead's consent. Mm-hmm. Might be a bit of a gray area. That's understandable, but well, that 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 answers my question at least. Um, because he did roll a twelve on deception. You see, he is once again. I think by now he's put the pen back in his uh his coat pocket. Uh huh. Um, he's still holding on to the to the folder. It's closed by now, but um, you yeah. can tell that he is gripping it a little too tight. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, um, he has decided to be rude. So he's oh gonna boy! Keep, he's gonna keep asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> he has one more. He says, "Um, all right. Well, besides that, uh, you may know this one, and uh, please don't, um." Restrict your answers to just Toontown. The 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 place doesn't matter if 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 um if 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 we would have to include uh even Yeddo into the uh into the question then that that would be acceptable. But do you are you aware of at all uh any criminal reform programs uh specifically for youth? Uh, 
this is a good question, and I think you do actually see him pause again. Mm-hmm. And, um... <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, something in my throat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I must admit that as far as the, uh, as far as youth, criminal, uh, reform for the youth, um, I do not know, uh, how exactly such systems work in Einquell, but as far as the criminal offense system in Yeddo goes, well, that's a whole subject and that's a whole another, whole other subject, I can talk, whole other subject uh, in and of itself. Well, is it, is it positive, negative? (laughs) And he laughs and he says, Any system that is built on the confession of individuals who may not even, uh, may not have even committed a crime, uh, is supposed to be put in question, but, (laughs) well, Let's just say that I hope whoever, whatever child you're thinking of, doesn't end up in Ayqua and in in Yeddo. Uh. All right. He sort of nods his head like that's. He he kind of tilted his head like like that he wasn't exactly following, but like uh, that that last part. He's like, well, all right then. Uh, should I, like, put this in, like, uh, more clear terms? No, I followed it, but he was just sort of, like, um, uh, he, he knows, like, you're referring to the, like, uh, spirit rogues, but he's not sure, like, how that's part of the, like, system, just because he doesn't know about the criminal system of, you know, <laughs> but, like, uh, but, like, I think that's just normal, like, uh, I'm not familiar with that, uh, confusion. Alright, yes. Um, and he, uh, he once again, um, he once again pauses and, like, uh, you see there the, the slight strain in, uh, his expression, uh, mm-hmm. twitch a bit, uh, before he seems to, like, gather himself. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, was there anything else you needed? <laughs> um, let me think. <laughs> because, uh, God, um, uh, let's see. What what was the? Um, uh, okay. Let me think. What what did he find on the papers? He found the thing about Nakabe. He found the stuff about the spirit rogues. Um, there was the. Uh, what was the? Uh, there was a thing. There was a note to. Orange. There was. Uh, there was something about aberrations in Vils Town. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's I, a different like a uh, story entirely because that's like all Borsky's thing and Azumi got oh. involved in that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm aware. Um, uh, I, I'm afraid that he is gonna have to ask about that because aberrations, uh, just from the word, um, that doesn't sound good, and it does sound like something that is usually uh his business. So he is going to at least ask. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> Alright. Uh, give me a second. Let me, um... Go ahead and, like, I guess where's your question? I need to... Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Um... He, um, uh, he, he, he sort of, like, um, uh, looks thoughtful in a, like, slightly kind of facetious, uh, way. Like, you can kind of, t you can kind of tell that he's, he's, he knows you're, like, done with him, but he's kind of still taking advantage of the social situation. <laughs> um, so, like, but, but he, um, uh, uh, with a slight grin, uh, he says, um, a slight grin and, and, and sort of a, a furrowing of the brows, he says, I, I happened to catch, uh, in your notes, there was something about, um, aberrations, uh, in Vilstown, um, is um, that handled? Um, give me a sec, cause I'm gonna roll an intelligence, cause you did say that uh, you read his notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that was. Is that you not fire? Yes, it is. Sometimes I forget which sheet I'm using. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and he, uh, he raises a brow at you curiously and he goes, Well, that was rather quick. You only had them for a few seconds. Yes, well, I've had a lot of practice speed reading. Hmm. Well, I am not the head detective on the aberration case, so you must understand that uh, there are oh. a few things that I cannot divulge, but I... what I can tell you is that the cases involve um... I suppose the correct term would be uh, magical anomalies that tend to affect uh, people in extreme emotional states but the if you are looking for more information on that uh i would get in touch with uh detective moria mm -hmm. he's sort of uh uh like uh, he sort of like raises his eyebrows a little bit and like nods slowly uh and says so not not mind flayers and beholders, then. <laughs> oh, goodness, no. If that were the case, we would have a far bigger problem on our hands. <laughs> and he laughs. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, you would. <laughs> and you, you, you may roll insight. <laughs> Are you sure? Um, yes. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Which is the same as his passive. <laughs> uh-huh. So he got a 23. Well. Uh. Well, my dear Azumi. Uh, it is very plain. Um, not least because he's not really hiding it. Um, that, uh, the professor has asked this question because, uh, he was afraid that, uh, those specific aberrations uh, were what was involved, uh, and if they were, he was going to get himself involved uh, <laughs> because he uh, seems to be too, like, uh, he his manner suggests, like, that can't be right, but his manner uh, suggests that, like, that is a thing that he, uh, like, would know about. Like, that would be something within his wheelhouse, even though that seems totally implausible. Okay. But that is what he is inferring. 
Okay, um, out of character, I want you to know that uh, Azumi has added a mental note about the professor that he is <laughs> reckless and stupid. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, in character, um, there's that curious look about you that uh, Azumi has again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he opens his mouth to to say something or comment on something you just said. But then he closes it, uh, pauses for a second, and um, um, he seems to change the subject, and he says, You mentioned something about saving the planet before. What was that about? Oh, I did. Uh, yes, no, I, I, um... I was thinking about the spirit rogues, but then I um, uh, thought about somebody else, and I uh, misconstrued the two things as uh, as being the same: saving the city and saving the planet. No, saving the planet. No, that was somebody else. I uh, that was somebody else. I know. And yet, you don't seem to be a stranger to such a thing. No, no, not uh, no. I. Uh, no, I'm I'm a bit of an old hand at that. Uh, eh. Even if that's a little bit... Um, uh, it sounds awful pompous to say out loud, but... I'm afraid it is true. <laughs> I'm just gonna do, like, a quick precursory uh, insight on this man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Because there's, like, this brief moment where, like, Azumi's like, do I believe this? Do I uh -huh. believe you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm worried he's going to get another bullshit high roll, but let, let's let see. I want him to. <laughs> the professor's telling the truth. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, apparently this guy's telling the absolute freaking truth. He's, like, trying to be, like, he's, like, not sure how to be modest about having experience saving the world. Like, how do you downplay that? He's not sure. <laughs> I mean, okay, uh, you see, you see Izumi, um, uh, give you a really quick once over like he glances uh, uh -huh. it's a very subtle glance up and down <laughs> yep uh <-huh. laughs> um, but he he still has that look like he's curious about you mm -hmm. and um oh shoot what was he going to say um I forgot what he was going to say. Uh, let me come up with something else. Um, mm -hmm. um, and he goes, remind me again what the professor's languages are. Ah, um, uh, he has four. He has common, quarry, and then celestial and abyssal. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> All right. Um. He doesn't say this out loud. Mm -hmm. Um. Not loud enough. Uh. But uh. That you can like actually discern what he's saying. Um. Mm -hmm. In fact, you don't understand the language he is murmuring. Uh, yeah. He's murmuring in, uh, in Undercommon. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Um, out of character, what he just said is, um, who exactly are you? <laughs> um. <laughs> and, um. Uh. The, the, um. The, the the professor uh 
sort of uh, leans back on his heels and says, um, now I've been dominating the conversation thus far. Did you have any questions for me? Uh, all right. Give me a sec. I need to decide. All right. He is, he's offering. Because <laughs> he did just kind of interrogate him. Okay, um, I had two questions in mind. Mm-hmm. Um... I know what he wants to ask, but not how he wants to phrase it. Give me a sec. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I hate this man because he has uh, he has such a specific way of wanting to phrase things. It's always hard to come up with on the spot. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, he he does um, tilt his head at you, um, and he goes. You seem to have experiences with aberrations, things of uh, mind flares and beholders, as you've as you've said. Uh, he he uh, winces slightly and says, "Yes." Have you any experience with interplanar beings? Uh. Yes. And he... I, I happen to be one myself. <laughs> and oh my god, <laughs> he was not expecting that, and uh, technically I wasn't either. But give me a sec. Uh huh. <laughs> god, I love, I love just dropping like. <laughs> bonkers things with the professor. It's just like <laughs> white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know that meme? That, uh-huh. that video meme where it's uh, where it just has the caption what and then like earthbound battle music starts playing? I think so. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That's like, for a moment, that's the kind of like vibe Azuki uh-huh. has as uh-huh. he just ad- admit to being an interplanar being. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh. Oh gosh, what what does? How do you even respond to that? <laughs> He, he is just kind of, he is just kind of like, um, he's just sort of got like, uh, a friendly smile. He's just looking at Azumi expectantly. The fucking, the fucking, <laughs> like, the fucking contradiction of Azumi, be- Azumi being interested in the professor, but also frustrated by him because he's doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this. Um, Okay, how are you going to phrase this? Uh, Well, I suppose, well, you were, you did say that the guy was capable of possession, so there is... And he, he pauses as he thinks to himself. <laughs> and he's just... Um, he, he takes a moment and he says... Hmm. On the subject of Nakabe Nakai, I would not engage with him uh, on your own if worse comes to worse. I... Don't intend to. Good. Uh, <laughs> I would bring allies. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to decide if he would <laughs> say something that, like, is a pretty important uh, piece of information. Uh-huh. Um, and he goes, uh, the reason I bring this up is, uh, well, I have been unable to confirm what race Nakbe is ex- Nakai is, uh, specifically, but, um... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be honest, he seems to be a rather foolish individual, but that said, I would not be one to underestimate him. No, no. Um, I do believe that he is working with, let's say... I forgot what type of creature Quarry are, and that's on me, because oh. <laughs> I haven't oh. looked at the, uh, at the stat block in a while. Um, I, uh... I think, I think what he says is that I have reason to believe that whatever entity he is working with happens to be interplanar. Yeah, it is. And, um, he, he seems to, like, already know this. Oh, I shake this man because I want him to ask, but I, at the same time, he doesn't feel... Mm -hmm. He doesn't feel, uh, like he sh he would. Yeah. And there's honestly? Like... Oh, oh, yeah. Continue. <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, the, the professor is, like, he, uh, he, like, he, he knows he, uh, uh, he just offered to answer Izumi's questions, but, like, when it comes to Nakabe, like, stuff serious... He's, um, uh, he, um, uh, he, uh, he, he, he's, he's, he, he has, he has the impression that, uh, despite what he saw, um, Azumi seems uh, to not be uh, a complete jerk. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so he, so he, um, whether or not that's true, but he, um, uh, so, so, and this person has like said, you know, they're going to warn their friends about Nakabe. So he just sort of like, um, uh, he looks away like he wasn't sure, uh, if he should actually say this, but, um, uh, he says, Nagabe is, is working, is working with, um, specifically a quarry. I happen to see it, um. Uh, let me rem let me see what uh, I am going if to I can remember the type. I, I believe. Going to roll a quick deception because you do that. that. He's he's going to continue. Um, I believe it is the type uh, specifically that. Um, uh, oh yes, that's right. Um, uh, Uzvapna. I think, uh, Dream Masters, um, the ones that, uh, um, hmm, the ones that hunt, um, what are they called? The ones that hunt Kalashtar. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, he got an 18 on his deception, just so I can get that on recording. Um, yep. Uh, 
I will say you notice him tense. Mm-hmm. And he is just... Uh, he had been taking this uh, seriously before now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he seems even more serious, mm-hmm. if that's mm-hmm. even possible. Yeah. But what's unsurpr- what's what's a bit odd is that he doesn't seem like he doesn't- well, excuse me, sorry- uh, he doesn't seem like he doesn't know what you're talking about. He seems like he is on- He's the, following. He is on the exact same page as you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. It's far more dangerous than I believed. Uh. And this is not to contest his, uh, deception but would you mind rolling me a really quick insight absolutely where is my modifier uh i got an eight uh well um what he just murmured under his breath uh Mm -hmm. i will just say that there is a connotation that is similar to the uh haha i'm in danger meme Uh uh-huh oh boy uh yes um he also just kind of like uh froze his brows uh and um uh scratches his head and says i think i think he may also be a murderer he smelled like blood um osumi does not seem surprised by this either (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. um i think i think um i think the moment uh you say this he actually nods at you and he says that is why i felt it necessary to warn you not to face this man alone um not only is he a murderer uh he he pauses and looks you over uh, mm-hmm. As if to gauge uh, how much he should say th- say or how he should phrase this. Yeah. Um. He he does look like just sort of curious. Like any information about Nakai is useful. Uh. And he gives you a look like, uh, you are definitely not going to like this. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, he goes, Nakai admitted to me that, uh, he eats long pork. Oh. The, the, the professor's nose scrunches, uh, and, <laughs> and, and he, uh, his eyes squint and and his shoulders kind of tense up and he's just like oh okay really okay (laughs) zoomy's just standing here why (laughs) (laughs) well that is good to know that is useful to know goodness mm. disgusting <laughs> um i think at this point um uh asumi once again pulls at his uh at his folder of notes again mm-hmm. um and you see him like pull at a uh, a blank sticky note mm-hmm. uh, that he had there, and he uh, reaches for his pen again. If he writes something down, uh, while he does this, can you roll me another quick perception? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you'll get something even if it's uh, low. Uh, so, um... what is that number? Oh, it's a four. That's no good. Um. Let's see. Plus three, that's seven. 
Well, right. I can work with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, on whatever page that he pulled this uh, blank uh, sticky note from, uh, mm -hmm. there is another sticky note that had that is also that also has uh, words crossed out. But unlike the last one you saw. Um, Uh, you can actually make out the the words and the phone number on this one. Um, Professor, you recognize uh, the words uh, Le Gris Café, which was the same name of the same café that had been on uh, Genie's collar, his name tag. Uh-huh. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, after a moment, he finishes uh, writing down what uh, what he was trying to write down, and mm -hmm. he hands you the sticky note, and um, and he goes, "If you happen to find any more information on Nakai, would you mind passing it along to me?" Absolutely. Oh, I wouldn't mind at all. And. Uh, he closes the the folder. Um, Does he give him? He gives a card. He gives, he gives you the, uh, the the sticky note on it is uh, is a phone number and his name. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah yeah uh huh uh huh. Well, thank you for the. Uh, I think that was a, a mutually beneficial exchange of uh, information. Yes, and quite unexpected, but that seems to be par for the course here in Toontown. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, right. I need to get going. Uh, I'm sorry. I won't <laughs> keep you any longer. Right. There was a new break in the Spirit Road case, so I should be going. Ah. Uh, well, hmm. Good luck with that, I suppose. <laughs> this is very obviously half hearted. <laughs> Um, uh, real quick, uh, with the, uh, Legree thing that you saw, mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, you saw in his notes, uh, yeah. would you mind rolling another intelligence check, same to the- I, I was going to, I was going to see if that would, if that would cinch the deal. Uh, I would argue for advantage because it's pretty on the nose. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, all right, okay, all right. Oh god, I'm gonna need that advantage. I'm praying. Okay. Uh the first one was four. Second one. Uh 30 20. Yeah. Yeah, with a dirty twenty. Um uh Professor um, <laughs> Professor Finally connects the dots. <laughs> Uh, Professor, let me, let me put it this way, um, mm -hmm. if, if, uh, Legree is the address that, um, was on Genie's, um, mm -hmm. name tag, yeah, uh, and Zumi had, uh, had written his notes with his notes on, written the, the, the name of the cafe with its phone number in his notes for the spirit rogues uh -huh. that links errata to the spirit rogues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you make and then you make i would argue with the with the with a modified trait uh 20 um the other another, could... another, another connection <laughs> Do you really think it's coincidence that both Arada and this trickster of the spirit rogues are in Einklo at the same time? Yeah, no, he doesn't. And also, like, Arada said he was a thief, and uh, Genie was talking about trauma, and the spirit rogues get into some stuff, and he literally met a group of young, mostly young people who seem to be very gung-ho for the, for the spirit rogues of which of which Arata seemed to be the the leader of this friend group 
and it's just like, uh, they are lining up. <laughs> I see now. And, um, uh, I think he, he just like, he, um, uh, his, he closes his eyes for a second, uh, and very quietly, um, in celestial curses. <laughs> Uh, and I think that's a perfect place to wrap up. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. Woo. Uh, that was a ride. <laughs> that sure was a ride. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you, everybody, uh, for listening in. Yes. Both, thank you. Both now and in the future. Uh, we love you. Um, I, we bid See you, you, you next uh, time. Yes, we bid you a good time zone. Bye-bye. Yay. Bye.